Hi, I'm Liza from Simply SharePoint and welcome to the Getting Started series. This video series is designed to help you learn the basics of SharePoint quickly and easily, whether you're new to SharePoint or just need a refresher. Each video will walk you through essential features step by step, so you can start using SharePoint with confidence. What is SharePoint? In this session, we'll provide a quick introduction to SharePoint, covering what it is, its main components, and why organizations rely on it for collaboration, document management, and improved communication. So let's dive in. So what exactly is SharePoint? We've all heard of it. It's mentioned in meetings, training sessions, and IT conversations, but what is it actually for? At its core, SharePoint is a platform designed to help organizations collaborate, manage documents, and streamline communication. But it's more than just a storage space. It's a tool that brings teams together and organizes your work in ways that save time and increase productivity. At its core, SharePoint is a web-based platform designed to help teams collaborate effectively, store documents somewhere so that you can centralize all your resources, and automate and streamline your workflows and improve communication. Think of it as a central hub where your team can share files, track projects, and stay updated in real time. For example, imagine you're working on a big project with colleagues across different departments. Everyone is emailing documents back and forth, and it's now becoming difficult to tell which is the latest version of a document and who made the last changes. SharePoint allows you to store everything in one place where everyone can access the latest updates instantly. It keeps track of versions of documents so you always know what the latest version of a document is and who edited it. It also helps you organize company resources, whether that's policies, procedures, or project documentation so they're easy to find when you need them. There are plenty of collaboration tools out there, so why choose SharePoint? The answer is flexibility. First, SharePoint makes your work accessible from anywhere. Whether you're in the office, at home, or traveling, you can log in and find your files securely from any device. It's also scalable meaning it can support both small teams and global organizations. A startup with 10 employees can use SharePoint just as effectively as a multinational corporation with thousands of users. And let's talk about integration. SharePoint works seamlessly with Microsoft 365 apps like Teams, Outlook, and OneDrive. So if you're already using these tools, SharePoint ties everything together beautifully. One of my favorite features is automation. You can set up workflows to handle repetitive tasks like document approvals, reminders, or even tracking customer interactions. Imagine reducing the time spent on admin work just by automating processes in SharePoint. And of course, security is key. With advanced permission controls, you can control who has access to what so your sensitive documents stay protected. To really understand how SharePoint works, let's break it down into its key components. First, we have sites. These are digital workspaces for teams or projects. Think of a SharePoint site like a virtual office where you can keep all related files, conversations, and resources in one place. For example, a marketing team might have a site for planning campaigns with a calendar for deadlines and a document library for storing creative assets. Next, there are document libraries. These are where all your files live, but it's more than just a folder system. SharePoint libraries allow version control, so you never lose track of changes, and you can add metadata to make searching easier. Then there are lists. Think of these as dynamic spreadsheets that live in SharePoint. You can track anything from employee onboarding checklists to IT support tickets and even link them to automation workflows. 
Then we have pages, which help you present information visually, kind of like an internal website. For instance, your HR department could have a page with benefits information, links to key documents, and an FAQ section. SharePoint lists and libraries also have metadata, where you can tag and categorize your documents to help you find what you need in seconds, instead of scrolling through endless folders. And finally, views that enable you to display your documents in multiple ways. SharePoint also integrates seamlessly with Teams for collaboration. You could share links from your documents directly into Teams to easily collaborate, but Teams also come with their own SharePoint site for storing documents, which you will access from the Files tab. When you are more advanced in your SharePoint knowledge, you can then build workflows around your documents and Teams will handle all the notifications. Now that we know what SharePoint can do, let's look at some common ways organizations use it. They use it for intranet with portals. Many companies use SharePoint as their internal website, a central hub for company announcements, policies, and HR resources. Project management sites. If you manage projects, SharePoint can help you track tasks, deadlines, and progress reports in one place. Document management systems. SharePoint is fantastic for organizing business critical documents with features like version control and permissions. Team collaboration spaces, dedicated workspaces for teams to store shared files and track discussions. Process automation, automate tasks like leave approvals, expense reimbursements and document approvals. Knowledge management, store guides, training materials and FAQs in one easy to search location. Compliance and records management. Ensure regulatory compliance with document retention policies and audit trails. And event and task coordination. Use lists and calendars to track meetings, deadlines, and project milestones. No matter what industry you're in, SharePoint can be tailored to your needs. So what's next? Now that you have a foundational understanding of SharePoint, it's time to start exploring its features in your own organization. Think about where you can apply it in your day-to-day -day work. You need a better way to store files? A project site might be the answer. Spending too much time on approvals? A workflow could streamline the process. As we continue this series, we'll dive into practical tips for setting up and customizing your own SharePoint site. If you're new to SharePoint, don't worry. It's all about taking it one step at a time. Thank you for watching and for the next step in this Getting Started series, which is working with sites and how to create them, visit my blog at simplysharepoint.com and select the Getting Started series from the main menu. Thank you.